This video is to address white social justice warriors. And as far as white SJWs go, they are by far the most self-righteous and obnoxious social justice warriors there are. With the exception of maybe Ashley Shackleford, and she's black. But um, it, you don't get much, it's hard to find a social justice a social justice warrior that's more self-righteous than a white one. They do exist, but they're very rare. <laughs> anyway, it seems like they have something to prove. That they feel like they have to redeem themselves for being white. I mean, all, everyone has, every race has blood on their hands. And yet, somehow, they, the white, the white social justice warrior acts like they're the only one their ancestors are the only ones who spilt blood in the name of conquest, and it is not true. It really isn't. Granted, people people of European descent um, were often the best at conquering in history, and uh, that's a well-known well known fact, because at one point the Euro people of European descent controlled 90% of the world. But it was no different than Genghis Khan or Shaka Zulu, Saddam Hussein, or Muhammad, or whoever. Um, lots of, I mean, there was a whole bunch of slave, like Africa, they act like the transatlantic slave trade was the only slave trade going on. That's not true. There were Africans enslaving Africans, the Arabs enslaved Africans, and even some white people. I mean, the Indian tribes enslaved one another, things like that. The list could just go on and on and on. But I'm not going to do it like that. And uh, what's amazing is that, okay, off, I dealt with one social justice warrior who was like, well, not me personally, I saw it, is okay. He is the most politically correct little guy that you you will ever meet. Well, maybe not ever meet, but he's one of the more politi most politically correct people I've ever met. He uh, said that um, you know he wanted to drop a few bombs on the Char on the people at Charlottesville, and yet um, on the very um, white nationalists and shit at Charlottesville, the all the Unite the Right rally. And uh, he then said that um, he, uh, and then there was shortly after, but yet shortly after the Pulse Night Club shooting, that hom that homophobic Omar Moulton, he, I someone said to him, I heard someone say to him, you know, we don't. He was ranting and raving about gun control. So I said to him, guns aren't the problem. Muslims are the problem. Islam is the problem. And he's like. You don't know their story. You're the problem. Blah, 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 blah. The wimping, wailing, and gashing of teeth. And, uh, it's just, uh, ridiculous. Like, for example, it's, it's a double standard. They love perpetrating double standards against anything that is, they just hate anything that's, you know, Christian white, male, or, or, or side gender. And uh, that's just how it works, basically. Uh, uh, the, often they try to, I guess they feel like they're trying to redeem themselves by being all willy-nilly liberal and progressive and uh, communist and all that crap. Uh, the reality is is that these people have a void in their lives and they just feel like they need to express themselves loud and proud like take Jane Elliott for example she, she has just so much vigor and with, she speaks with such stern and obnoxious righteousness that it's like 
she is convinced that, that she is infallible and that she cannot possibly be wrong. Same thing with Ashley Shackleford. And she's not, She's although she's not white, she is just too good. She's just too, I guess, obscene to not, and unbelievable and outrageous, not to mention in this video. She declares herself a, okay, a fat, femme, lesbian activist. And, oh yeah, I forgot, she also thinks of herself as ratchet and a few other titles. And I think she has a few other titles that I forgot. And she wants, you know, white people to give up their houses to a free, to a family, like a black or brown family of color. And, uh... It's just like, wow. And they say, oh, it's white privilege, and all that stuff. A lot of people, especially white social justice warriors, think that, you know, being white automatically gives you some sort of advantage. It doesn't. What about those poor people in Appalachia and all that shit? Where's their white privilege? They live probably worse than the people in Dahoud or the Barrio or whatever. And, uh, it's really quite ridiculous because you got African immigrants. They do really, really well. White privilege ain't stopping them from shit. They have a graduation rate twice that of white people, a college graduation rate twice that rate of white people, and four times the rate of African Americans. That was pretty good. Same thing with Asians. They're a minority. They're, they're, they're doing quite well. For the most part, at least. And, uh, it's just the whole concept of white privilege is simply bogus, at least these days. It's just something you can throw out there. White people get harassed by police. White people get killed by police. It happens. And like these and these Antifa, they some there was a guy from Black Lives Matter, I think it was, or some or some damn thing, a black civil rights activist who said, you know, Richard Spencer never gets punched by a black man. It was a, by a white social justice warrior in Antifa, and uh, that just proves white social justice warriors are the most self righteous, the most obnoxious, and the most violent. And the whole, this whole complex that they have, it's really a sign of serious psychological issues. They just gotta be the white equivalent of Uncle Ruckus. And uh, they won't quit. They just think that they are so superior and progressive and, uh, you know, stand for progress when... It, and they think that hate, sp hate speech, for example, from a white person, quote unquote hate speech, is worse than, you know, Omar Moten, who wanted to, you know, slaughter gays. And, uh, you know, I've heard several Christians condemn homosexuals or say that they hate what they do, but they love the sinner and all that crap, and that's a choice. They're full of shit, I know. But the reality is, is that they do not want to kill homosexuals the way these crazy-ass Muslims do. And, uh, for the most part, at least. I mean... And, uh... I, I know, you'll, you'll have some, like, Fred Phelps is of the world, and he's dead now. But what's wrong about church? They're still active. And, uh... Somehow they think, like, you know, this society excluding gays is better than that society killing them. And, uh people say this country is oppressive let me ask you a question what's the difference between um, Amer America and the Arab world Arab in most countries in this country Arab Muslim women can vote that cannot be said for a lot of the um, Muslim countries I know not all Muslims are Arabs and not all Arabs are Muslim and, although the vast majority are and, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> anyway, enough with statistics. They're boring. We're moving on. 
white social justice warriors. I saw one screaming, You don't know what it's like to be oppressed, and I don't know what it's like to be oppressed because I'm white, I'm privileged, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure that the inmates at Auschwitz know what it's like to be oppressed. White guys who have and some girls who have been convicted of crimes that they never that they never committed or sometimes never even happened, they know what it's like to be oppressed. And uh, women who appear on Mari with their abusive boyfriends, they know what it's like to live with somebody's boot on the top of your head. And uh, they, they just are a mix of emotion and just anger and hatred. There is a serious void in their lives. And they need to just stop it. Because they're way out of control. I hope you liked this video. Um, this will be the end of it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and if you can, leave a donation. It's for a good cause. See ya.